Hello and welcome to the Mexop demonstration series where you can see live demonstrations for real users and real world applications. For more information about our products or to schedule your own live demonstration, just give us a call or visit us at www.mexop.com. Without further delay, we invite you to sit back and enjoy the demonstration. The uh, next thing I would like to uh, demonstrate is how we could use RhinoCam uh, and IRB cam for programming a simultaneous 5-axis application as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the simulation right in here and we'll switch back to uh, Rhino cam and I'm going to go ahead and um, bring in another model. I have a uh, prototype model of a car right in here as you can see and I would like to uh, program the um, uh, the the surfaces on the top of this model in here. So we have a wide range of five axis toolpath methods starting with curve projection, flow curve, between curve, surface normal, swarf machining. So I have a between curve machining operation toolpath programmed in here for the top surfaces. And let's go ahead and run a verification of this in uh, RhinoCam. So I'm going to hit a play to run a simulation. So you'll notice that the tool remains normal to the surface being machined. So this is a true five axis or also known as a simultaneous five axis machining operation. So RhinoCam can be used for programming two to five axis uh, operations, machining operations. In this particular case, we are programming a simultaneous five axis operation in here. We could also be using a SWARF machining operation uh, to program certain areas using the side of the cutter. Uh, so this is a, what you're watching in the simulation is a between two curve machining, which is a true five axis method. Now here's an example of a swarf machining operation in program. So let's go over to IRB cam. Let's post process this toolpath from RhinoCam in apt format. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save this file in app format and you can see your true five axis motions has these go to motions with uh, a, the coordinates and the IJK values we'll now switch over to IRB cam and I'm going to go over to the file menu and I'm going to select open station so I have a saved station in here and I'm going to choose the station as car model and load it so you get either start by creating a new station wizard or if you already have an existing station defined you can go ahead and load the station in here so the station is loaded I already have the uh, the part model I also have a cube that's defined in here uh, and uh, the toolpaths uh, the target point the toolpaths have already been loaded in from RhinoCam into IRBCAM in app, for app format so I'm now going to go ahead and establish my tool data in here uh, this would be a ball mill half an inch. I'm going to accept that and then we'll configure the path. Uh, you can select configure path and select OK. And this would uh, configure uh, the path and uh, you know ensure that all targets are configured. So if uh, some of the targets cannot be configured, it will automatically identify those targets. And you can also use the optimizer in IRB cam to help you configure the targets. So here we have all of these targets configured and now let's go ahead and run a verification so I'm going to do an animation right in here you can see the uh, simultaneous 5-axis uh, toolpath that you program in RhinoCam is uh, transferred over to IRB cam and you can see a, a, a multi-axis motion as it's uh, programming is machining the top surface of this car model folks if you do have any questions uh, during this webinar please feel free to post those questions in the questions panel and uh, one of our panelists will be more than happy to answer them for you. So you can take a look at the uh, simulation that's being in progress. 